Hey guys, it's me again. Let me make sure my mic is on. Yep. So we're good now, and uh, and this time we're going to be doing a oh, operating system tour of Windows NT 4.0 Workstation with Service Pack 6A and VMware Player. It's not going to be in Virtual PC 2007 because, in fact. My other video of it running in Virtual PC 2007 has been removed due to the fact it found a copyright claim with the music sample. Right now, as you see, while we proceeding on to the video, we got the operating system loader that comes with Windows NT. And as you see, you have a choice. You can go to um, set VGA mode or you can go to Windows NT. So we're going to the north. Windows and T. We're not going to be using VGA mode. VGA mode is kind of like safe mode. And there's no animated graphical boot screen. As you see, it just tells you what the, the build number, the version of our Windows, the amount of RAM, and the service pack on this little blue screen. This is not the blue screen of Dell. Whenever you see this blue screen come up, And that's with the check disk. I just cancel that because we're about to go on to the video. And let me go ahead and put this into full screen. Because I'm making this video off with my commentary. And you got to use Control Alt Delete to log in. Let me enter my password and go ahead and proceed. System property sheet of Windows NT 4.0, and it tells you what version of Internet Explorer. I don't know why it says IE5, even though I got Internet Explorer 6. That it does have Internet Explorer 6 because you can tell because of the light blue E, and it just says IE5 right next to it. it just says instead of saying IE5, it could say IE6. And that's the build number. And that's the 256 megabytes of RAM. And to you, the highest version of Internet Explorer that you can use on Windows NT 4.0. Let me go ahead and get that out of the way. So. Like I said, the highest version of Internet Explorer you can use on here is 6. Should come up with the about information. We can go ahead and stop loading the page. So the highest version of Internet Explorer you can use on here is 6. And I have Service Pack 1 installed for Internet Explorer 6, which is the most stable version. That's all of the inf copyright information. And then we'll go ahead and refresh the page. Because it'll show you proof it's working onto the internet. And you can also use Mozilla Firefox on Windows NT 4.0. And the latest version of Firefox you can use is 2.0.0.20 the 20th release of the second browser is like how they say it and this is Windows Media Player 7 let me go ahead and make sure to uh, make sure to not playing any music because I don't want it to get so I don't want to be flagged again because that's what happened in my other Windows and T video. So I have to mute it in case it didn't start playing. And this is version 7.0, which is the last version of Windows of Windows Media Player that could be supported on Windows and T 4.0. Let me go ahead and put the volume back because no music's playing, so that's a good thing. Because I don't want YouTube to flag this video because of copyright. And you can use Microsoft Office. I've installed Office 2000. 
and the highest version of Office you can use actually use on Windows NT is Office XP, which would t which does take a lot of space on Windows NT. But I decided to put Office 2000 because it's more suited for the older version of Windows. <laughs> about box it'll t play the Windows 95 startup. It even does it in Windows 2000 if you have an older version of Office installed like Office XP, Office 97, Office 2000. Because the Windows 95 startup sound is on Windows NT4. I added a shortcut that's under the media folder and it's under the Microsoft sound. shortcut to my documents because it's in the on the C drive and that's how you get to this is how you get to the media folder go to C Win and T and I added all the sounds and it has some of the backgrounds that you would commonly find on Windows 2000 that, and all the uh, screen savers from Windows 2000 are also on here And a neat little feature I like is this plus tab, which you can adjust visual effects. I added the full color icon to, by going to the show icon using all possible colors. And I got the smooth dragging, which is show window contents while dragging. I, had that, I enabled that. Smooth edges of screen font so we can get smoother fonts on Windows. I've enabled those three. Those are the three I that would be usable in Windows 95 or 98 or NT4 or 2000 or ME. But the plus tab, you can get that on Windows 95 if you're installing plus for Windows 95. Or in Windows 98 and Windows 2000 and Windows ME, it's under the effects tab. Usually the these two would be turned off on default by only if you're using Windows 2000 ME or 90 or Windows 98. Put on and then even the mods I get that out of the way. Because I usually enable that every time I install Windows, the so smooth edges of screen fonts and the uh, smooth dragging. And that's not that features on in the background tab whenever you, on whenever they with the release of Windows 98. So you don't have to go through the effects tab. Because Windows NT added that in. Some stuff from plus for Windows 95. Just that look. Um, as you see, it does look a little bit like 98 to be honest. Because uh, I've installed the Windows desktop update. You have to install Internet Explorer 4 in, in order to get the Windows desktop update which gives you the quick launch the show desktop icon um, the new Windows Explorer these are all the programs that come with in Windows NT like the administrative tools Windows NT Explorer and it comes with pinball which is from Plus for Windows 95, you'd find two things, the Effects tab and Display Properties and the Pinball Game. But there is a way you can add it in 98. It's somewhere onto the disk, you just gotta browse through the files. You have to enter it manually, it's kinda hard. You got FreeSail, you got Minesweeper and Solitaire from Windows 95. You got Hyperterminal. You still got the paint program, WordPad, the internet tools. And there's the command prompt. It's not MS DOS prompt because, as you see, Windows NT is, is a kernel, and DOS is, a, is like a kernel. And um, and this operating system is actually Windows NT based, and, but it has the MS DOS icon. 
I don't know why. For command prompt. This is what the command prompt looks like. And then this video is also going to be a new watermark. I don't have a lot of programs installed. You can even install a VAS 4.8 on here. And if you want to uh, create usernames and passwords, you go to the user manager, you can go there. And you can enable the guest account if you want. You just go to new user and and you can set it up however you want. This is what's pretty useful in NT4. And, and this is the new start menu that comes with Windows Desktop Update. And that's your own startup folder. But you can delete all of the stuff. This is a good tip if you want to um, make your Windows boot faster. Delete certain things out of the startup folder. And one thing I'm going to show you what the new Windows Explorer looks like. And to be honest, we're going to take a look at some of the mouse pointers we get. And these are the ones that you could find on 2000 or XP. These are cursors that came from Windows NT 3.1. And then you can even use Tweak UI. So it ain't much to show you, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down, cut it off. And I'll let y'all see the shutdown. and tell me what you think and I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching.